Hi guys, welcome to this session on LibreOffice Base Database. In this module, I want to show you how you can create relationships between tables. So this database has got one table, which is a table of customers, and I want to create a second table, which is a table of products, and then link those two together, create a couple of queries and a report. So first of all, let's get rid of that. I'm going to use a wizard to create a second table and I want to call this table products. Now what you have is this these steps down the left hand side and these options in here, these are preset options with the fields that are already there. Now I want one of products, so there look, there's a table of products. Now I don't want all of these. I do need the um, product ID, so I'll just send that across and I want the product name and you've got the different options here as you come down unit price i love that one as well so i just want those three for now uh, go next so now it's saying what type data type do you want so as you click on each of these it's picked up the type for you already so this is that's good that's going to be the primary key next so you've got create a primary key and then use an existing field. So that's where I'm going to select that product ID as the primary key. Next. And I want to call this TBL products. TBL products. And then finish. And then it's ready to go. I can do product ID. And then I can just put some products in there. So I'll just put a few products in there. And then come back. There's a few products, and I'll save that and close the table. Now, if I go back into the customer table, what I've got in the customer table is the customer ID field. What I need to do in the product table is put that field into that table as well, which will be the so that's a a primary key field, and in this table it will it will be a foreign field. It won't be a primary key. So if I just close that down. And I need to just right click on products, go into edit, and then I can put customer ID. And I think it's an integer. That one. And then save that. And then close this. So if I open products, bring products back across. So I would have done that before I type these in, but let's just put some customer IDs in there. So let's say customer IDs. So that's who's bought those things. Now what I need to do is link these two tables together so that I can, so then I can create a query and then a report. Now under tools, you've got relationships. If I click on that, you can see the tables there. You've got the add table, which gives you the options to bring these in. I've already done that. So just close that. What you have to do is drag from the customer table, customer ID field, that's a primary key, onto the customer ID field in the products table, which is not a primary key, and you'll get the one-to-many link. That's what I want. Save that, close this window. Now what you can do is create a query. I'll create a query, I'll do it in design view this time. Add the two tables, that's a customer product, you can see that it picks up the joins, which is great, the links, just to expand these. And then you've got the customer ID, first name, surname, date joined, and then the fields on this one, product ID, product name, unit price, customer ID. So if I double click customer ID down, and then first name and surname and product name and unit price, if I run that query, see what that looks like. So Steve Saxton, yeah, two. Yeah, so he bought two, he, she bought one, he bought one item. So that's that's correct, that's how it should be. Now if I close this query down and just save this query as sales, QRY sales, and then OK to that. Back to reports. So I want to use the report or create a report that's going to look at that. Um, query so I'm going to use the wizard report wizard so it's picking up the sales query I want 
all of this to come across. Then go next, and it's asking me to if I want to change the labels. I don't want to change the labels. That's okay. It's just going to basically come down this set of steps on this left hand side. So grouping. Grouping, I want to group by customer ID, or you could group it by product name, it's up to you, but customer ID would be more logical. Then next, I'm not bothered about sorting. Um, next, this is a layout option. I'll leave it as the default, but you've got different options here, look. You're getting a little preview there. I'll leave it on tabular. And then next, create the report. So I'm just going to put RPT in front of that. RPT and then finish and then see if that's what I want so it generates the report and so you've got customer ID customer ID customer ID so that's what they've bought if I close this down since this is coming to writer if I close this down what I've noticed if I go back to the, the table on products if I just edit that what I've not done is on the unit price field, I need to format that field to currency so it shows it in pounds. So that's what I want. Okay. Save that. Have a look. We'll close this. Have a quick look at that one. Products. Bring it across from the other window. Now that's in pounds, so everything should be in pounds. So that's just basically a quick video of how to create your relationships between tables and then build up your database from the table relationships, creating queries and reports. So hopefully that was of use. Thank you for your time. I'll see you on the next one.